Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today is January 19th, 2024 and I was at my local food pantry today. It's actually called an emergency food cupboard and I'm going to show you everything that I received today. Um, absolute amount of blessings. I am so grateful. I just overjoyed with words. Um, I'm still waiting for my landlord to come and fix my tap because it's leaking. So I'll show you right here. So if you look at this top piece right here, that's where it's leaking. And when I turn it on, it leaks. So hopefully he comes. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. So if you're a subscriber to mine, welcome back to my channel. If you're someone new and who's just came across it by whatever little YouTube world God there is, um, welcome. If you're someone who was just coming and going, welcome back. Consider subscribing, liking. Um, I actually enjoy leaving comments. I'm going to do, be doing a video. Um, we did make the... from... Uh, we didn't make the bologna sandwich spread, which, and my kids loved it. So I brought a pack of bologna out. I'm going to do a, a YouTube video on that one, how I did it. I kind of took all the recipes and kind of combined a little bit of everything into it. And we loved it. Thank you for that one. I also had um, someone who suggested put the bologna in scrambled eggs I did that we absolutely loved it and I also did the bologna with some ketchup and brown sugar on it when you fry it and loved that one too it was like a barbecue sauce by the time we were done with it thank you for those suggestions um this week I'm going to be doing the oh I'm so sorry about that one I'm this week I'm going to be doing some of the chicken now um, we're going to do the chicken roll-ups where you roll it up with some stuffing and then bake it with a little bit of gravy on top. That sounds absolutely divine. I can't wait to try that one. So I'm going to show you what I received from my food pantry today. I'm lost for words. We needed produce. We were out of produce. Um, I received lots. So I'm going to first show you. Um, I received two rolls of toilet paper. Let me just get these out here. So there's two rolls of toilet paper that we received. Now this is something I have to show you. I've never heard of this. So please tell me if anyone's tried this and what is it like. I don't even know if it's, well it is plant based. Okay, so here, let me just see if I can put my hand down here. So here is, I'm just going to get close up so you can see it. Um... This is plant-based tuna list tuna chunks in spring water. Um, has anyone tried this? I have not tried it because of our tuna and fish allergy. We were given this today. Um, I'm interested in trying it, so it won't hurt any. I mean, obviously there's no fish in it or fish byproduct. So I'm hoping will be able to have this in our household. It should be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to go over here. So I'm just going to put this back up because I wanted to show that to you. Okay, so right here we have two things of pasta sauce, two things of chili, some dish soap, some, dish soap, some laundry soap, some cat food, um, two things of pitas, which is good because we're making chicken shamaras. I hope I said that right. We're making that, so that'll be good. And we're also doing some Greek, some Greek food, so this is perfect. Um, we received this Captain Crunch berry cereal, mixed berries. We received some water crackers, and then we received this box of called Joni Brand Pads. And I'm going to put this out. We received this big bag of potatoes. 
received this bag of spaghetti noodles. I received another one of these sesame ginger um, marinade seasonings. I received a thing of orange jello and a thing of this cheese, chives, and bacon dip. And then a thing of depends. And in here in the sink, I received a whole chicken. Isn't that adorable? And then they gave me a chicken leg with the back attached. So it's kind of like one and a quarter chickens I received. So um, that's going to be uh, Sunday's supper. I'm going to make that with the potatoes and stuff. Absolutely blessing. Thank you all. So let me just go over here. Um, I received a bag of onions, a bag of three zucchini, a bag of fruit. There is pears, plums, oranges, and apples in it. A uh, half a head of cabbage, some egg noodles, which is really good because we can make some chicken chow mein or chow, or um, chicken chow mein with it, or our peanut saute with it. Uh, four things of Dad's cookies. Here I received chocolate milk mix, white flour in this container, cornmeal, and then sugar, and then we received a thing of diced tomatoes, a thing of chicken soup with rice and then here is uh broccoli and cheese soup now i did receive a can i don't know where i put it of um clam chowder soup um i think i think i don't even know where i put it <laughs> i do have it somewhere but um because of our allergy i didn't put it out so um but that's okay. Um, that one I'm going to drop off my neighbor across for me. And the same if um, we're going to open up one can of that tuna list tuna. See how we like it. I'm going to give the other one to my neighbor. The elderly neighbor. And see if he likes it as well. Because it's something that I can give to him if it doesn't work out with us. But I am so grateful that at least they have something for people with allergies. And like severe allergies to fish and seafood. Um, we received four of these granola bars. And just so you know, thank you everyone for my last video on the comments regarding Quaker um, products. I did go through all of them. They're still adding products to their um, list. So I have to go through again today with the products with the updated list. I did end up throwing out some things because of it. And... Um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, and, and I know it, was, it wasn't a absolutely get rid of the stuff in Canada. It was just a voluntary recall. It wasn't like the recall that's in the U.S. But still, I have children and I can't risk them being sick, especially from Seminola. So thank you everyone for your concerns. Thank you all for your comments on it. And um, for any of you as well, please recheck the website for Quaker because they do and they have been up late, up, um, dating their lists of products. Okay, so in addition to this bag of fruit, I also received um, four more plums, four more bananas, four oranges, four pears. I received the four of these Go Go... Um, squeeze applesauce um those are absolutely good even i like those so back here i have one bag of three bags of milk and in these two bags i have more bananas so i've got two bags of bananas um so i've got all together 12 bananas eight pears eight oranges eight plums five apples. Um, I have two things of green peppers, two things of red peppers, which is good because I'm totally out of peppers. Um, a bag of carrots. Under here is a dozen eggs. I received a bag of couscous, which is good because we used up the last of our couscous. I am totally out of rice, 
So thank you. Um, we received some rice. And that is everything for this food pantry haul. Um, like I said, I'm so blessed. I thank you for providing this food to me. I thank my local food pantry. I thank the volunteers who work there to bag everything up and to distribute it, to take their time out. I thank the um, donors who give food or monetary gifts to for my food pantry to buy things in addition to what the central food bank provides um ottawa i live in ottawa ontario canada so this is so grateful and um if you are someone who is struggling with food insecurity consider going to your food pantry call your local 211-311 Contact your um, community resource center, contact your local food pantry. They can help you with uh, resources in addition to them where you can get food. If you are suffering from mental health, um, contact your mental health provider, contact your crisis center. They're there to help you as well. Um, let you know you're not alone. I am doing a little bit better. I'm still not good. Um, I would say I'm about 40% good to where I was a good month and a half ago. Um, I don't, I'm not ready to share what's going on, but um, just a lot is going on and I have to sort things out. And mentally, I'm not good. Um, I'm not because of something that happened a few months ago now it's come back to haunt me and unfortunately there is going to be a long-term memory with it and I just have to deal with it and uh, thank goodness I have made some friends here in Ottawa that I can talk to um, I have a good a semi good support system and um, I don't have many people I can trust but I have a couple like maybe two or three that I can confide to if I need to um, so that is what is going on in my life which is in addition to me with all my disability stuff going on um, a lot of things are going to be affected by what happened and um, I know on the other person's side, they don't have a conscious. Well, maybe one day their conscious will catch up to them. But unfortunately, it affects me because I'm a mother. So, you know, things happen. Um, with that, I just want to say thank you all for everything. And hopefully I'll be able to post some more pictures of food we make. And maybe I'll be where, to the point where I can post some videos of um, things that I make as well. And um, I thank you all. And uh, keep me and my four kids in your prayers. I keep you all in my prayers and my thoughts. You're my family who I can talk to. And um, I'm just grateful that I can do these videos and share them because for me it's a way of being able to talk and kind of communicate to people because it's, it's very hard for me to communicate. So again, thank you and if you are in need of food, please go to one of your local food pantries. If you are um, struggling mentally Go to your crisis center or contact them or to a health, mental health worker. Um, if you need some spiritual guidance, go to, you know, someone spiritually that you can talk to. You know, your holistic health is important. Not just one aspect, but the whole aspect of your, your life, your, you know, your spiritual, your mental, your physical health mean everything. So enjoy your long weekend. 
not long, well, not long weekend, sorry, enjoy your weekend. I bless you all. For those who are in the cold, stay warm. It is a little bit nippy out here, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm not, I'm still, I'm still climatized from where I come from. <laughs> So it doesn't affect me. I mean, people were bungled up in snowsuits and stuff when I walked over to the food pantry. And um, I just had a heavy sweater on with a toque and some thin little gloves from the dollar store. So, I mean, for me, it's still, it's not bad outside for me. But others, they were bungled from head to toe. But anyway, stay warm, stay safe. Um, oh, I can't remember if I said that I received four cheese sticks, too. Um, so stay warm, stay safe. I'm sorry I'm rambling. Um, forgive me for that. Have a wonderful weekend. Bless you all. Bye-bye.